live, live with TeamBayuPresents.com. Uh, we in uh, Alexandria, Louisiana with the uh, hottest, hottest female DJ that ever uh, touched the wheels of steel. And I'm going to let her introduce herself to you. What's up? My name is L Boogie. L Boogie. L Boogie, but you can call me Boogie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, you know I was, I was, uh, I was trying to, you know, get some information on you. I, I know you. I don't know if the public know you like I know you, but uh, you know we worked together before, so I mean this is this is one of the reasons that I wanted to interview you because I know what kind of talents you have and, and how you turn turn a place out when you when you're on the wheels of steel, but um. um when I when I was thinking about this interview, I I tried to Google it and nothing popped up. Well, El Boogie popped up, but it was a male. What you think about that? Um, I mean, how can you not be mad? You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, I'm pissed, but just gotta get information out there or whatever. Okay. So, um, El Boogie, how long you been doing the? Uh, how long you been? What do you do? I want you to explain that to. Um, weekdays, I have my own show on 98.7 here out of Alexandria. Um, we have a mobile app. It's on Android and Apple Market. You can search us, KKST, and you can check your girl out. You can check us out online, um, kiss987.fm. Um, you can, like, I mean, you can listen, you know what I'm saying? That's the best way. Like, just tune in and check me out. I'm on 10 to 3 though weekdays. I also club DJ currently. I'm at Super Dex in Alexandria on Saturday nights. And that's always turned up. Oh, is that right? <laughs> uh, hey, look, you know, some of the studios, some of the uh, uh, studios have, well, they have cameras when you're online. So do y'all have the cameras here online? You see into the. Uh, no, you can't watch me work. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I was going because I was going to say shit. I'm about to plug in. You know, I, you know, I'm affiliated with a uh, uh, 97.3 in Monroe, Louisiana, and uh, I do a, 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 a Saturday talk show. And but you can actually view us online because they got the cameras inside the studio. So I mean, that's why I asked you that. But um, how did you get into DJ? To be honest. Um they needed like some more radio personalities and there was a contest here and me and one of my other co-workers actually both got jobs from the contest. Is that right? How long ago was that? Ten years. Ten years? <laughs> so you telling me you called in to the radio station on a contest yeah. on a whim, right? And just became automatically a, a radio personality? I mean, it was like a process, you know what I'm saying? But pretty much that's how it happened. Like, that's what that's so, what got me in the door. So, you, you didn't go to school for this. You wasn't, this wasn't your ambition at that time. You just automatically said, I'm going to call the MC and I win this contest. You called me and, one. And to be honest, um, I did it for a few years just as like a hobby. It was just like something to do. I enjoyed it just that much that I was, I wasn't like, oh, well, yeah, I'm trying to get paid or I'm trying to do this forever. It was just fun. So I continued to do it. And then just one day it hit me and I was like, this is what I want to do. Like, I really enjoy doing this. This is what I love. I've never done another job that I was just like, yeah, that's cool. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Anything else is like, like that. So, yeah. so you worked other places besides? Being a DJ. Yeah, I worked other places. Um, I actually went to beauty school. What? Um, I've done banking for like years. Like none of that ain't got nothing on. You know what I'm saying? I what mean, I'm right in now. beauty school, the cosmetologists they make money. So I mean, this is sick. This could be serious money doing cosmetology. I feel like though, you know what I'm saying? Like you have to have the mindset to do what it is that you're trying to do like all the way you have to be able to fully immerse yourself in it like i'm i'm not knocking anybody who does hair you know what i'm saying because they do make money and and they be balling too you know what i'm saying but like as far as me like waiting on people like all day and trying to please like you know what i'm saying a specific person and i don't think i got the nerves like you know what i'm saying able to handle it oh so you content with sitting Sitting in the studio, running your. Pictures. I am running and running my mouth. Is I like right? running my mouth. So where you get your style from? If you if you've never done that before, how did you come in the door and automatically become, you know, a, a perfectionist at it? I don't know, Marcus. Like 
I'm just, I'm 100% like all the time. I'm gonna tell you the real, I'm not gonna sugarcoat it, you know what I'm saying? I'm not gonna just sit here and lie to you and be like, oh yes, this song balls. No, if that song don't ball, I'm not even gonna fool with it. Like, Is that right? just, you gonna do this on, on if, if, uh, if Man, it, the people who listen to me already know I'm telling the truth right now. So, look, so you telling me if the industry send you some music by Lil Boots or let's say a major artist like a Dr. Dre and it's not hit, you're going to say it live on the radio. Oh, this song sucks. I'm gonna be like, let me tell you, because he's somebody who just put out a song. The song is only like two and a half minutes long. It's a major artist. And I played it once on my show, and after that one time, I was like, I don't think I'm satisfied with it. Like, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna hold punches, you know what I'm saying? Cause you listening to the radio, you not holding punches, you know what I'm saying? The radio, on you in the car with your own voice, you hear something that you don't like, you gonna be vocal about that and be like, why was she even? I'm not gonna do it. Oh, okay. I mean, hey, you hear it first, so I mean, my thing is, I'm, I'm still puzzled with how you became, you know, the, the voice of the market. You know, you are you the only DJ, female DJ in in, in this region? That you know of? As far as like radio goes, I know it's, it's other um, women. You know, radio personalities like in our area or like even in surrounding areas, like that I do know. So, so do you break new artist music on your show? Yes, I do. You do? Yes, I do. Oh no, because <laughs> it's hard for. Now it is a chain of command. I'm not, I'm not even, you know, trying to sit up here and be like, oh, send me your music, I'ma play it. No, I just told you for one, it's got a ball. Like, exactly. We can't even do nothing with it. And then I need permission, you know what I'm saying, right. to do that or whatever. But once that's granted, I'm gonna handle my business. So but when you and you and your element in the club, knowing your DJ in the club, you breaking all, you breaking what you wanna play, you breaking new music. They, they like don't. artists who have already given me that music because it's, it's people who come up to you every time you know what I'm saying that you work and they be like oh play this for me can you put no I ain't to listen to that you know yeah. what I'm saying but like if you can get me your stuff ahead of time it jam I'm yeah I'm, I'm looking at the you put it in the mix oh, okay okay I can't believe you turned out beauty school and just to be a, to be a DJ man do you know how hard some of the people be trying to work them up people nerves though I can't do it like for real my love it's not set up for that I have to smoke like all the time <laughs> <laughs> so let me ask you this you know by me knowing you I was I was uh I was in in the Monroe area they was having a big concert K Michelle concert and I heard you DJ is that true yes in Natchez, Mississippi. Natchez, Mississippi? Yep, so May 24th. It was my birthday. Is that right? Yeah. <laughs> so, I mean, how did you get that gig? Um, I was contacted and asked, you know, just if I was free or whatever. And we made arrangements and went from there. Oh, you jumped on that, huh? I travel. I will. I will go places at work. Oh, you yeah. travel? Oh, I know you travel. Oh, okay. everybody that know me. <laughs> So do you have any mixtapes or anything out? Um, currently no. I have you ever have, put out a mixtape? Mm -hmm. I've done like um at least three of them. The first two were like I take the biggest spent about four. The first two were just like mainstream music or whatever. Then you know I put my own spin on or talk you know between the songs. And then like the last two were actually local music. Right. That's I'm I'm more interested in that because you can do more with local music than right. you can from, you know what I'm saying, just like putting Lil Wayne music on the CD and trying to sell it. Right. Really? <laughs> you know, so, and, and working with local artists, it, it gives you that chance to like meet new people and like experience new things like right under your nose that you didn't even know was there, so I'm more interested in that. So, and um, I noticed, so the lady from, from K. Michelle just called you out of the blue or she heard you somewhere she knew? Um, her assistant hit me up and uh, I've never, i never met them before, so I'm, I'm assuming that it was because she heard me on air, you know. So you must got that, that, that comeback for us. Man, I've been talking to people, my. <laughs> <laughs> I have though. Um, just since I've been like club DJing, like it was a spot out in Martinsville. They we went hard for over two years, like every single Thursday night. You know what I'm saying? So like a lot of people do know me just from like some of the things that I've done in the past. So, so what you saying? You about to come out with a ladies' night or something? That's what. That's I'm, I'm always trying to get a ladies' night somewhere. Like club owners, <laughs> I be bored. How that's your girl? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> For real. Okay. Okay. Well, 
Well, you know, Team Bayou, we, we support you. We trying to we trying to connect the dots for what we got going on. Uh, Team Bayou is a major movement here in uh, Louisiana. You know, we got 475 city towns and villages in Louisiana, so we trying to connect the dots. And you one of the dots in our in that little puzzle, that 475. I mean, being that uh, being that we doing this movement, we got these new T-shirts. I want to present this one to you. That's what's up. It's I called mean, <laughs> Support the Home Team. Support the Home Team is a new look. Especially you being a DJ. I hope this is your size. I'm going to make it my size at this size. So, is there anything else you would like to share with the, um, with, with, with our listening audience? Um, all of my contact information is, um, make sure you follow me on my social media pages. Facebook is under my real name, LaShonda C. Moss. Um, you can email me music if you need to at firstlady of 987 at, at gmail.com. Sorry, it's F-I-R-S-T-O-F-L-A-D. First lady. I'm going to spell it right, hold on. <laughs> F-I-R-S-T-L-A-D-Y-O-F-987. No dots in there. Um, at gmail.com. So send me send me music, like holla at your girl. You wanna book me, you can call me. Like I will put the number out there. Can I give them the number? Yeah, sure. Three one eight three zero eight eight zero eight three. Like just holla at me. Right. Like, I'm around. Well we was talking earlier, you mentioned that when you was younger, you were, you always was into music but you never uh pursued it as a career or nothing at that point. And you did you and your little sister that I used to make tape. She was a who fan? She was a Tupac fan. And you was a who? I was a Biggie fan. You, you mentioned that you knew all the lyrics to the to all, all of them songs. Like, so give me two lyrics. Pump Diddy, so. uh, Maze. Well, like, let me get some lyrics to one of the biggest songs. To so one of the biggest songs? Just one. Um, can we do that in more money, more problems? Yeah, do it. Can say. we do that one? And you actually want me to spit the just lyrics? Me, like, we ain't even got no beat. Just give me some nothing. of the lyrics. Um, how you start that off? Um, I'm trying to think who burst that you know was. He say, nah, I'm trying to see if you really who's deep. not. Tell me who flop, who sell out in the stores. You tell me who flop, who cop the blue drop, who jewels got block, who mostly don't sit down to the cube size. The same old, it was two size, two size. The same old pimp, mace, you know, ain't nothing changed for my limp. Can't stop till I see my name on a blimp. Guarantee me sales pull the double up. Like, I know all that shit. What else do you want? <laughs> I'm just saying. You know, I'm just trying to make sure this is it. I'm like, back then, like, for real, those my people. I'm just trying to make, because I mean, you know, most people don't listen to I mean, I know like two music from the South. Them, like, um, but you got to listen to everything, though. Like, people get mad at me because they'll be like, well, have you ever heard this song? No, I've not heard all of the songs in the world, but I listen to... So what's your favorite saying? song to spin right now in your set? When you spinning your favorite song? Man, what? I am so into twerk music. Like, I am so serious. Like, I love the twerk oh, you ain't up there. You ain't... But, I mean, I'm gangster too, you know what I'm saying? But I'm a lady. Like, right. when females go to the club, like, we want to, with True and all, we, we want to get our gangster on. Right. Some of the time. Not the whole damn time. No, I'm just letting other people who do this know. We don't want to do that all the time. Like, throw on a few twerk songs. We like to shake out. But, and y'all like when we shake out. Yeah, so what's the number one twerk song out there? Right now, right now, um, it's Trampoline Booty. <laughs> that is my stuff. K style is Trampoline Booty. <laughs> <laughs> we gave you K style. It's, it's, free, it's free pub. You know what I'm saying? But we don't give that today. We don't give that today. I, I thank you for coming out. Thank you. To, to the, gonna, we're going to be the number one hip hop show in, I mean, in the country. In, in the, just a few moments. Uh, TeamBikesPresents.com. We live, we here, we giving it to you raw. We meet all the DJs, all the hottest rappers out of Louisiana. This is one of the hottest DJs in Louisiana. So, L Boogie, man. Yeah, I'll let your girl. <laughs> <laughs>